Hi guys, it's your Shardiva coming at you with another video today. And I wanted to do this video for a very long time now. And it's a top 10 tips of how to grow healthy, um, healthy, thick, natural hair. How to grow natural hair. Um, being an African American woman, I get asked a lot. Is that your real hair? Is that your real hair? Yes, it is my real hair, guys. Um, I don't know why I get asked that much. Being African American, like African American women, can't have long hair. But I get asked by my own African American people, "Is that my real hair?" And they're the ones that think it's a weave. So, um, it is my hair, guys. Is it? It is natural. I've been growing it, I'm growing it since high school. I did cut my hair. Um, my hair was right here, I believe, in high school, and it grew ever since using these top 10 tips that I'm giving you guys today. So I'm going to start uh, by number 10. And excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm looking for my at my computer because I did write these down and I sent them to myself off my phone. So, number 10. Wrap your hair every night. I wrap my hair every single night. I do recommend you to use a silk scarf. Um, it does prevent split ends and damaging hair. Um, some people say that wrapping the hair is kind of hard. Um, like the wrap around. I do the wrap around. But you can also wrap your hair like this. And just putting your hair up like that. And just putting a scarf over it and wrapping it and just when you take it out it falls down like that um you can moisturize it before you go to bed or spray something on it before you wrap it number nine moisturizing your hair every night before you go to bed um being african-american our hair gets very dry it tends to get very dry and frizzy so by moisturizing it every night you can prevent split ends and also breakage Number eight, brush your hair from the ends and work your way up. When I get in the shower and when I wash my hair, after washing my hair, um, my hair is this big afro puff when it's wet. So I advise you ladies to use a wide tooth comb. Start from the ends and work your way up because if you start from the top, you're eventually pulling your hair from your scalp. And when it's um, very vulnerable, when it's wet, you can pull a lot of your hair out. So I suggest you start from your ends and then work your way up and then you'll be fine. Number six, avoid as much heat as possible, ladies. I know it's very, very hard to avoid heat with the curling wands and the flat irons that's out there. But if you can't avoid heat, I would beg you to use a good heat protector. Um, I use Chi and also um, IC by Fantasia. I use both. So if you cannot avoid using heat, if you have to use it, but avoid it as much as possible, use a good heat protector, ladies. Do not forget. Wash your hair only once a week. I wash my hair only once a week because you really are risking drying out your hair. And when your hair is dry, it will cause breakage and it will cause split ends. Me, I wash my hair once a week. Um, I will wash my hair once a week because my hair is very, very dry. If I put any product in my hair or eat it up like this, it is crazy. I advise you ladies to use a deep conditioning treatment at least once a month because it does hydrate strands and also it makes your hair stronger and it restores breakage in your hair. If you have a lot of breakage or if you had a lot of split ends in the past, a deep conditioner treatment will make your hair more stronger, healthier, and thicker. Number four. This is a myth, but it works for me. Ever since high school, my grandmother told me to massage my scalp like at least two minutes a day. You can use um, a little bit of, I use Garnier Fructis. Um, argan oil, Moroccan oil, 
and I put it on just a little teeny teeny bit on my fingertips and I moisturize my hair, moisturize my scalp, and massage my scalp, I'm sorry, every day. Now, I know it sounds silly, but it works for me. Do not grease your scalp, ladies. Um, it does not help. I recommend using a hot oil treatment. Um, it does, hot oil treatment does moisturize your scalp. And using grease on the scalp, I believe, is coping with the scalp. It's like covering it. And it's like blocking your hair from actually coming out to the scalp and actually growing. So it's blocking your new growth. So I suggest do not grease your scalp, ladies. And if you do, if you get braids or whatever, don't do it often. But I do recommend a hot oil treatment. That's what I get. And my hair is very, my scalp is very dry sometimes. But when I use the hot oil treatment, it does make a difference. Number two, I'm sorry. Try cutting your split ends at least once every three months. I do not cut my split ends myself. Um, I off I go to the salon every three months and get my ends cut. Now I do not go to the salon often. I go every three months and because they use a lot of heat and I don't and I just do my hair myself. And also they're very expensive. And if you have long hair, they try to get you. So I do not go there. I try to do it myself. I try to wash and set my hair myself. And I do not cut my split ends. I let them do that every three months. Number one. Finally, right? Number one tip is, can you guess? It's very, very simple. Water. That's all you need. Drink a lot of water. Water helps. Yes, it does. It helps moisturize your hair. Water, 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 okay? If you can't drink eight glasses a day, I recommend you to drink four glasses a day, cut it in half, or five glasses a day. But water is the main goal, ladies. Think of your hair as a flower or a plant, and what plants and flower need water to grow. It also helps your hair from stop being dry. Um, believe it or not, Dry hair is the cause of not drinking um, a lot of water. Water also helps your skin, helps your face, helps acne, and helps your body and whole, as a whole. So that's my 10 tips of hair growth. Um, I hope you ladies enjoyed it. And feel free to like, rate, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. It's absolutely, it's like really late at night. So I'm recording this video from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys. So subscribe and more videos to come. Bye bye.